I play Persian music and the Persian music came from Middle East basically and includes like traditional music and folklore music uh, which both they have very long history but basically most of Persian music came from people who they were working like in mountains or farming. When I play music, uh, I, I, don't, I don't want to play purely Persian music. I prefer to find that's my own style and my own melodies. Tasty gossip, I'll tell you where I'm coming from. I crawled into this scene at 18, head down, raves up. But now I'm 21, fresh out of the system, and I won't play games. Anymore. I've listened to a lot of jazz and a lot of folk, um, and I guess it's about history, um, it's about where I come from. It brings lightness to me. I feel kind of a spirituality into it. And when I play it, I'm going somewhere, but I don't know where is that. Uh, and I didn't know until I uh, came here and I started to play music with Western musicians and fusing my music with different atmosphere. And I felt, oh, okay, I guess I'm going somewhere. I don't know where is that. It belongs to where, but I guess that's home. To me, home is, is sanctuary, it's somewhere where you can escape and hide from all the day-to-day the -day troubles that you face. I might as well move to London with the other stepping stones. I might as well move to London, except that I'm just a rolling stone. Though that makes me pretty cool, I suppose. I might as well move to London. Just I might as well move to London There's no such thing as home There's no such thing as home I guess from playing my own music I get a couple of things out of it mainly therapy and community are the biggest ones um, for therapy you can take something that's dragging you down so much and, and turn it into something fun Off my wallet, it stopped thriving in my pocket. I guess the, the journey I want to take would be to make as much fusion music and meet as many different kinds of musicians and, and, and people as, as possible um, to, to learn as much as I can about as many people's cultures as I can. Fuse them all together, hopefully. That would be cool. Our fusion was born um, from improvising at uh, open mic nights and, and jam sessions. We call it fusion because it's, um, it's two worlds that, that are meeting, it's two different versions of history and and culture and, and music that have been brought together to create something new. Yeah. We kind of share our culture, our experience, our feeling in our music together. So it's kind of uh, mixing all of heritage and history at so the yeah. same time melodies. Yeah, it has like no one set home, does it?
improvising is the most honest expression that there is. Like you haven't got time to, to plan or analyze or think about what you're doing. One of the main parts in our journey was dialogue, but not with language, with melodies and rhythms. In this way, we fuse meaning and context, and uh, the whole thing we wanted to say music takes you home. And doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, you can go home with music. It wasn't just technical, it wasn't about mm. just fusing jazz with Persian, it was yeah. about fusing cultures, sharing languages and experiences. And I think we were quite similar in the way that we, we were both classically trained um, in very, very different ways. Like Ahmad was trained by masters in his instrument and I was trained at school classically on the guitar. Um, but I think both of us moved away from that. By sharing um, some of the things that I've been through through songs, it can and reach out to people and, and let them know that they're, they're not alone. Um, and even just the simple things of just playing songs can just bring people together um, to dance and to have fun and break down boundaries. It's, it's, it's just good. I think it just started as something very very simple as just two people met at jam sessions and, and jammed and it turned into making an album and then a fusion album and then it went on to make a weekly event based around the fusion album that we'd made and what we've been doing and it's just snowballed. Now we are still um, thinking to add uh, and join with other musicians around the world and it's like how many, uh, how many mu more musicians do we have? We have more hand together and together and together and we have more support, more peace and more, more genres will create exactly. completely different music. Fresh music, which yeah. belongs to nowhere. It's home for everyone around the world. Africa, Morocco, Munich, London, everywhere. It's a nice dream.